What's going on guys, ADK here, playing through a game called Godzilla. It was released in June, I believe, of 2015. So let's give her a start. There we go. Now I've seen a couple videos on this game and I've heard it's not too good. Especially in comparison to like the GameCube and the PS2 versions. Of uh, I think it was called Destroy All Monsters. It was 60 years ago. They okay? Was when Godzilla first appeared. Okay, I can't actually. Okay, Tal okay. Kaiju that laid ruin to a city center. Godzilla may not have been fast. Okay, on his so. Feet, but the threat he posed to mankind was undeniable. I love the codec kind of calls in the top right corner. All right, so I can move now. So rotate left. Okay, to turn around, you gotta freaking do L1 and R1. That's pretty silly. Godzilla's claws and his powerful tail constitute his primary means of attack. Okay. Let's, let's wreck some crap. There we go. Let's do some strong attacks. I think this arrow on the roads here, they uh, they're indicating I can't actually go that, that way. Thrust body forward and charge attack. Okay. Boom. <laughs> I feel bad for all the people that are just living in this built this house. Oh freak. Oh I gotta thrust through them I can't attack. Jeez. He also lets loose atomic breath. A blast attack from his mouth okay. can turn the town into Screw that. Just like uh, the movie, if you guys ever saw, he uses the atomic breath, and it's pretty, uh, pretty awesome. But I guess I gotta wait for it to recharge. Come on. Okay. So it's in the bottom left corner of the charge meter. So. This is all the biological data we currently have on record. But we know very little about how or why he possesses such unimaginable powers. It's because he's freaking Godzilla, woman. To bring that. Okay. Bring down the TV tower. So where the frig is. Okay. It's just up ahead. Like in the charge attack, it makes things so much easier. He feels like he's moving like five kilometers an hour. I keep forgetting about this weird churning thing. I right, was beat the crap out of this. There we go. Beat her. Area cleared. At the time, Godzilla returned to the sea at the dear cost of Professor Sarazawa's life. Who the frig is that? The ultimate sacrifice back then. But humanity gained two valuable things as a result. And what's that exactly? Is G energy. As a result of our studies, we discovered the very essence of Godzilla's life force and turned it into a powerful fuel for humanity. Now, without G-Energy, our civilization would fall apart within a very short span of time. Okay, it looks like the a giant battery. If the worst should happen in Godzilla or anything of equal threat to mankind should ever appear again, G-Force is there to remove the threat. And that's where you come in, ma'am. Ma'am. As far as the public knows, uh -huh. G-Force is merely a response unit created to handle disasters. If you learn anything, you'll contact me immediately, correct? So now, after 60 years, there are signs that Godzilla has returned. I'll give you the short explanation, ma'am. Should Godzilla ever appear again, we will need you and the cabinet to set the disaster level. We at G-Force will then respond accordingly. So I'm ultimately responsible for our strategy to Godzilla. I will not hesitate to act, soldier. Although it may very well cost me my political career. Oh my god. Is it just me or like, I thought she was talking to me directly for some odd reason. What, this looks, okay, what's up with this clip? There he is. All right, so that was a pretty short winded clip. All right, so I guess that was just a tutorial thing, so. 
Fighting at wave after wave of kaiju versus mode, network battle. Fall of Godzilla to become even more powerful. And then there's a bunch of other settings. Screw it, let's just do the first mission and see what happens. Sure. Absorb as much G energy as you can to make Godzilla grow. The bigger he is, the more destructive he is. We're picking up a strong signal. It's heading to the surface. Don't sound too worried. Is this Godzilla? <laughs> we cannot determine whether it is the same Godzilla as in our records. What does Godzilla want? Oh no, not the generator. It must be the G energy generator. It's the only explanation as to why he chose to come ashore in this area. We discovered G energy because of him, but it turns out the stuff is his favorite meal. Maybe Godzilla holds a grudge. After all, the reason he was born in the first place was... Uh, uh, forgive me. I spoke out of turn. It's Jeez. fine. We need to consider all lines of thinking here. We are going to disaster level one. We must protect our country. Moving to commence level one response, ma'am. Jesus Christ, what kind of game is this? Destroying things, make Godzilla grow the bigger because I just read all this crap. Completing bonus levels, destroying set number. Okay. Oh, freak, that's not the charge button. Alright, gotta p smash through this bloody thing. Friggin' military, screw him. Now, where do I have to go exactly? Oh, just right in front of me. Invincible emergency dodge. What the frig am I doing? Let's just friggin' I'm a t I'm punching the tanks. The data collection squad is I'm gonna screw all these things. I'm just gonna nuke this place. Third squad, begin your assault. The generator is losing power. It'll what the freak? How'd that happen? The generator's defensive measures are operating at optimum levels. Looks like it gets hot looks red the more you destroy it. I don't even know if that's hurting me. I don't even know what my health bar is exactly. Is it? It's probably right below my radiation thing. All generators in the area are destroyed. Dang, son. Does that mean I'm done? Area cleared. Good. The generator's power levels have hit zero. Godzilla is far larger than when he came ashore, ma'am. It must be the purity of the matter he absorbed. It's accelerating his growth. You were right. He came ashore in search of food. <laughs> Incredible. But I doubt it'll be enough to satisfy 60 years of hibernation. Oh my god, of course. I wish we knew what Godzilla was thinking right now. Do you think he will search for another food source? When I have to worry about the people's doubts, I hope they don't call for my head. There's no one else in politics who's equipped to handle such difficult decisions. Alright, so that's it for those t terrible clips. Yeah, sure, whatever. I guess you do actually get larger. Okay. So I guess these are the next missions. Okay. Leadership change. Our target is 
Oh my god, I don't give a crap. Is Godzilla has entered the area. He's going after the generator. Is that all I'm gonna do in this game is fight generators? Give him some food to chow on and he'll leave us be. He's no different from the family dog. Screw it. Destroy all generators. Am I able to just walk up onto... Ah, oh, thank god I can just walk up on it. Just rush in here. Ah. Yeah, I'm not too sure how I feel about this game, guys. The graphics are very mediocre. Like, after playing Bloodborne, Dark Souls, you know, Far Cry, Grand Theft Auto, like, this is so bland. Like, every building could be copy and paste for all I care. There's a generator over there. I wasn't even looking at my, uh, radar. So slow to walk. It's no running. I'm not gonna lie, the combos are kind of boring to do. It's just mash square a bunch of times, hit triangle if you're bored. Man, I don't even want to get out of the way because that's so annoying. There we go. So what's the harder one's going to be? Like 10 generators? Sixty seconds for what exactly? Jesus, that was kind of cool. Man, I just want. There we go. Is that it? Area cleared, I guess. The area has been destroyed by Godzilla. Sometimes they can't help biting the hand that feeds them. <laughs> what? Okay, sure, whatever. We're calculating where Godzilla will most likely hit the shore. Alright guys, this game is not that good. I don't recommend it at all. But uh this is probably the end of this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to tune in next time for the next game I play. And yeah. Thanks for watching, guys.